Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is an adult channel, just a no notification that it is for adults and in no way, shape or form aimed at or made for children. So today we're going to do our end of the month colouring wrap up. So this is all the pictures, I'm just trying to straighten up the camera, that I coloured in in the month of February. I think I've got 11 this month. I average about 10, so 11 is really good, especially as it's a shorter month this month. So the first one I did was in the Creative Hoven Flower Mandala Colouring Book by Marty Noble. I try and do one in here every month because I really enjoy this. Sorry, the camera's at a different angle because I was filming something else. So let me just change it, that's better. So I did this one. And again, this was done, I think, using the Link Shine pens. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely got some Link Shine on there. Um, I really love those pens. I'm doing this book actually in order, so um, I'll be doing this one ne next month. But yeah, I really like this book, and I really love these Link Shine pens, as you can see. Um, this one I don't think was this green, and maybe this light pink wasn't, but the rest of it, or most of it is. Um, some of them are other gel pens, but with the Link Shine pens, I've actually ordered another another two packets because they're going through the gold so quickly. So that was the first one. The next one we did was when we did on camera, and that is the pralines from the sweet shop. If I can just find it, there it is. So we did this one, and I really liked doing this one. It was fun. Um, so it's very vintage looking, I think. And again, we've got the Link Shine pens on these little swirls, the golds and the red, and some other <coughs> glitter gel pen on the writing. Um, but I like that one. I like this book. It's lovely. I must get the Curiosity Shop one as well. I finally finished the page that I've been doing forever in Romantic Country, and that is Henry's books. I finally, finally finished colouring in all the books. It took forever. As you can see, there's hundreds of books on this shelf. And it just took me a long time to do it. And wow, I enjoyed it, but it was a long time. So yeah, <sighs> detail. Next, we did the one in Chibi Girl's Grayscale. And we did the ballerina. The controversial, controversial picture, but I really like the way she turned out. I think she's really pretty. So I like this book. I'm hoping to do one in another one in this one um, in March. Oh, that one. Then we did one in the Current Heaven a Steampunk Special. This was issue 47, and it's all Hannah Lynn from her Steampunk Darlings. But she also put in 15 exclusive new designs, and it was one of those that I did. And I did the Sherlock Holmes picture, and this was done just with Prisma Colors, um, just with Prisma Colors. So I really enjoyed doing that one. Took my time on it. Took forever, but I really like the way she turned out. The next one was in Kawaii Grayscale. Um, this is another book I picked up this month because I enjoyed doing the Chibi Girls and I wanted to do Kawaii Girls because I like the Kawaii ones. So if I just get to it, you can see my papers in it. I did the Little Devil one, Little Devil Girl. Um, and again, this is done with the Arteza Everblend markers. And there's a little bit of uh, Link Shine just on the stars and on her earrings and the, and the eyes little bit of glitter pen on her dress and um, yeah I like that one battery's running out but it should have enough to get through to the end of this I did two in the 100 magical patterns by Jade Summer I did uh, this one with the uh, horses on it all sorts of bright horrendous colours again I'm doing this book in order now I wasn't but I am now I did that one. Again, this is just using the Crayola Super Tips pictures, nothing else, because the pencil, they're, they're easy just to have upstairs in the bedroom at night. And then I decided to do a one colour challenge and I chose pink and I picked four different pinks, although two of them are very similar, and I coloured this one picture in. Again, Crayola Super Tips. Another Jade Summer book. I got was the new one of the new ones, which is the Geometric Mandala colouring book. So as you can see, that's that one. Again, this is one I'll probably do in order. And this, again, was done with Link Shine pens. 
So this is why I've had to order another packet. Because my, my gold is nearly at the end again. So I love this. I love these pens and I love these patterns. And I will just do them in um, glitter pens. The second one we did on camera this month, or the third one, because we did Chibi Girls Grayscale, is Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg. We did this using the Derwent Ink Tents. Took a while, four episodes. Um, I decided not to do a background in the end. This is all doing ink tents and then there's a bit of, um, you can't really see it, but there is on the face of the clock a little bit of uh, Wink of Stella. Now this is a very, very quick video because um, there's not a lot to say really other than what I used and which book it's in. But I like this one, I like the dress, I like the colours. I must use the uh, ink tents a lot more often too. That was that one. And the last one I coloured in was this month's Colour in Heaven book. I literally have just finished this one, just before I filmed this video. And it is this one. So this book is by um, Kanuko Egusa. Um, and she's the one that um, drew Rhapsody in the Forest and Minuet du Bonheur. And these ones are new designs for Colour in Heaven. And I decided to do the rabbit with the Tiffany lamp. And this was done entirely with Black Widow pens, pencils. I love the way this turns out. I love the little rabbit. The rabbit looks so cute. I'm not very good at, like I said before, I'm not very good at doing animals. But I picked out three different sort of shades of brownie reds. And, and coloured him in with those. And I, I think the rabbit looks lovely. And again, just two different colours, dark dark yellows. Tiffany Star Lamp. I decided to go with a yellow top rather than a blue top. But that's just my choice. I nearly did it blue, but I decided to do it yellow instead. With two different reds for the flowers. Little macaroons, pastels, and the tulips and the little fruit bowl. Um, and yeah, that's it. Really short video for today. But those are all the pictures I coloured in February. We're now on to March. Let's see what we can do for March. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumb, thumbs up. Oh, I can't speak. Leave me a comment down for go below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I put up a new video. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.